I'm Melissa Trevino, your neighborhood news reporter in Alice. As the school board continues to discuss the needs and potential costs for a new football stadium, it's left some community members concerned. Safety is the driving force behind Alice ISD's need for a new stadium. Memorial Stadium is nearly 80 years old and is showing its age. As we reported, a recent evaluation and inspection of the stadium was released to the district in October 2023. The district released the report to the community in January of this year. If there was such dramatic worry about the stadium safety, then why weren't measures to shut down and find alternative sites undertaken? Ron Burke is a retired educator from Alice ISD. His main concern is that the stadium problem didn't happen overnight and taxpayers are now expected to vote with board approval on a multi-million dollar bond. Safety issues of the evaluation report state the separation of the bleachers, rusted and unattached railings, mold in the locker rooms, among other issues. To combat these safety issues, the board was presented with three options. Option one, demolishing and rebuilding Memorial Stadium at its current location with a cost of $39 million. Option two, Build a stadium on approximately 45 acres near the Alice International Airport with a cost of $53 million. Or option three, building a stadium on the east side of the Alice High School where the current Coyote Trail is across the nursing home. The cost is between $39 to $40 million. Alice ISD has been hosting public tours of the Memorial Stadium so that the community can see for themselves. Valerie Mejia attended Thursday's tour. She believes something needs to change. That we, we need to update this, we need to upgrade this. This is not safe, not just for our athletic children, but for the community. You know, having to see these cracks, having to see these crevices, having to see, you know, the rust on, on, on this building, it's unsafe. So I am absolutely open to the cost. I'm open to any proposal that they put up. Mahea, who attends Friday night football games, was unaware of the conditions until she saw it with her own eyes. She says she trusts the school board members will make the right decision. The superintendent told the board they expect to meet again before deciding what comes next. A final decision on a bond proposal would need to be made in the upcoming weeks to meet the February election deadline. Covering your neighborhood news in Alice, I'm Melissa Trevino for Chris 6 News.